Welcome back to our channel guys. If you're new here, we're Richie, Laura, Frankie and Freddie and you join us on our round the world tour in Camper Van Kev. This week we start at a beach campsite before heading into the Turkish town of Amazra where we have another Turkish breakfast, look around the market, see one of the most picturesque bridges before having dinner on a boat. We hope you enjoy it. So this is the campsite. It's called Captain campsite um, there's two campsites down on this little piece of coastline one is just up there behind me and is a little bit more cheaper than this side but that one behind me is absolutely rammed this one seems a lot less busier see behind me which is just amazing um, and yeah I think it was about 250 lira so about 11 pounds so not too expensive um, for a campsite they've got toilets showers yeah everything you need showers are a little bit cold but not too bad if you got this heat so we are now off to Amazra and um, we're gonna see what that is like <laughs> We are here, the Turkish town of Amazra. It's very pretty. Really nice. <laughs> uh, we parked up in a car park just over there for, we, I think we're actually gonna stay tonight. Um, nice and uh, close to everything as well. So we're gonna walk down and have a look what's about here. Yeah, I think it's 80 TL for 12 to 24 hours. So yeah. not badly priced. Um, I think a lot of them in the main city part are I'm a lot more busier, aren't they? So we decided to come out a little bit. And it's perfect. <laughs> First impressions here are really good. They seem to have a lot of stuff. It's quite busy and quite touristy. Frankie spotted a muscle stall though, and you all know how much he loves muscles. That's what they like. Oh, they are stuff. Yeah, stuff muscle. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> this bridge connects two sides of the Masra together across the Black Sea coast. Um, the bridge was actually built in the 9th century um, and they believe it was from the Byzantine Empire when the castle was built. Castle, but that's the castle gate. It's obviously not there no more, but so strange because there's cars that actually go through this little arch over to the other side of a Masra. How's that for a flower pot idea? Quality. It's a very quaint little town, isn't it? It is. Very, uh, you can tell there's like a historical feel, feel to it, isn't there? Yeah, it's quite busy as well, quite popular. Yeah. So we're walking up to the weeping tree now. I think it's quite famous in a Masra. I'm not too sure why it's famous. Hopefully we'll find out when we get it up here. Yeah, it's quite a steep hill, <laughs> once again. <laughs> Apparently though, the views from the weeping tree are amazing. And already they're looking good, so I can't wait to see. Yeah. it up to this viewpoint I think we've walked straight past the weeping tree reading online it does say it's dead so we could easily have missed it <laughs> but it was worth the climb because look at these views it's amazing it's just lovely <laughs> definitely worth the trek up the hill a little bit windy yeah. time to climb back down see if we can find this tree 
did walk straight past it. <laughs> it is the one behind us. Can't see what all the fuss is about ourselves. Um, and it's not even that spectacular what it does. It is 300 to 350 years old. But the reason it's called Weeping Tree is because the, the due to the moisture from the sea and the humidity in the air, I think it made the leaves drizzle or something. Um, is that right? Well, that's what it says on the translator on the thing. So it's basically, <laughs> it's basically the same as most trees, but we've seen it. I like it, it um, they named it, so it must have something special to them. And it's another tick off the box. Yeah. <laughs> More cats. which is the Great Island and the smaller one is called Tavshan Adasi which is called the Rabbit Island which is the smaller one. After the trek up that big hill, we're starving and we've heard there's a lovely fish restaurant on a boat. We're so back that's... on the Great Island now. Yeah, we're back down onto the Great Island. <laughs> Off the Rabbit Island. And we're going to go and try and find this fish boat restaurant. And if any Turkish people are from Amazra here, can you let us know in the comments why it's called Rabbit Island? Because we didn't see no rabbits. <laughs> we didn't. <laughs> just loads of cats. Yeah. I think the smaller island is more for views and stuff and um, obviously the castle gate. So there's not a great deal to do that side. But when you come back across onto the bigger side, there's loads to do. It's a lot busier. There's a lot of shops, restaurants, bars, loads of tiny... Markets. Yeah, markets. <laughs> In fact, In that fact. looks nice. Like, yeah. <laughs> Let's go down that one now. Great minds think alike, eh, hey, <laughs> There's a lot of jewellery shops, loads of jewellery shops, and a lot of wooden items as well. And they're also open so late, it's half past eight here, so you would think that places like this would shut up for the night, but this seems like their busiest times. I can't believe we've just walked down that little market street. Whoa! <laughs> and no one's even asked us to go in, it's a bit strange. I was expecting it to be like Istanbul again. <laughs> You can tell we're by the seafood restaurants now because you can really smell them. There's so many positives about coming out at night time. Not only is it a lot cooler, but you also get to see it all lit up. And I think it just looks so much better when it's lit up at night. Looks really, really nice here. All the shops look so pretty. So we are here, the famous fish boat. Pirate of Amazra. We've been looking forward to this. Well, we can already smell it. Thank you. Oh, it looks very good. Look how pretty this view is. You couldn't get a much more perfect restaurant, could you? A little bit rocky on here. <laughs> I don't know whether they can see it from the thing, but it's sort of going like this. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to eat my dinner. Yeah, the boat's swaying a bit. I think we're going to get off seasick. We should have had some calms before we got on. <laughs> it's all right today, though, because it's quite calm. Can you imagine if it was really windy? It would be blown about everywhere. Yeah, it would be. <laughs> but we have ordered um, Mr. Boring has gone for a cheese toasty <laughs> in a fish restaurant. <laughs> in a fish restaurant. Um, Frankie has gone for some sea bream, I think. It looks like From sea bream. it looks like sea bream. Um, us two have gone for like a prawn dish. And some calamari. And some calamari. And some sips, as in chips in Turkish. I'll tell you what, I'm picking this lingo up pretty well. <laughs> it's a really good experience though, being on this boat. I'll show you the views in a sec really seen it and it looks even better i think being at night time it's got all the lights and it's just really 
really pretty. The whole harbour looks really nice down there. Yeah. So uh, hopefully the dinner is going to be as good as the view. I was looking forward to NFS though, and this one doesn't do FS, but there's a lot of places that do do FS along here we've noticed, compared to other places we've visited. So I think after this we may stop for a quick beer before going back to Kev. This calamari looks lovely. Mm. Really good, the sauce is good too, but we best ask the fish expert. Mm -hmm. Very nice. So we have the rest out here now, and Frankie's looks really good. Mm. And I've got the prawns, and this looks really nice, don't it? Yeah, sizzling away there. Can't wait to get some bread dipped in that. <laughs> Lovely. So that was lovely. We're back off the boat again now. We're on dry land. Got sea legs though, <laughs> still a bit wobbly. But it comes to 555 lira, so one of our more expensive meals, but it's to be expected at a setting like that. Yeah. Um, I think it's just shy of 30 pounds, so still a lot cheaper than it would be at home. But it was good and worth it. Really good food. And now we're gonna go and find some FS. <laughs> Well, we found a little bar. There's actually an area with quite a few bars and pubs here, and a lot of live music as well. It's a bit loud in there, so I'm not going to be able to show you too much. But yeah, it's a really good atmosphere. <laughs> Well, that was a really good night tonight. And that was a really good atmosphere in that bar, wasn't it? Really good atmosphere. <laughs> I enjoyed that. Yeah. Much better atmosphere than being back at home, that's for sure. Yeah. The music was so loud and everyone was singing and dancing. Everyone um, was loving it. I wish we knew the Turkish songs yeah. because I would love to have got involved because everyone was really loving it. And it was quite strange because um, the bar man kept bringing people over that spoke English to us. I think one person um, was from London or stayed in London. She studied at Greenwich University. Yeah, and the second person was going to Brighton University, wasn't he? Yeah, he was going to Brighton. So. <laughs> Yeah, the two English speakers we got to speak to. But one thing they did say is, what are you doing here, English? <laughs> um, and we was like, we're just travelling around everywhere. I think they were uh, really surprised to have English people in their pub. <laughs> from, what we, from what we can make out, I don't think that um, many English come here. But I don't know why. Because, it, well, we haven't been down south yet, but so far, it's brilliant. Yeah, I it's... think up here you get to see the real Turkish culture, don't you? Whereas down south is a bit more touristy and probably more English. Um, but so... now we've been to north and we have also been to south before, but that was when that was on a plane for a holiday. Um, I think we went to Marmaris. Um, and don't get me wrong, it was lovely. But up here, it just seems even better. Yeah. Don't. Um, don't neglect northern turkey because it is really good and you will not be disappointed. Yeah, definitely. Morning guys, we had a really good night in Amazra last night. Woke up in the car park this morning. So nice when you get to walk out in the sea like this and it's absolutely lovely. So blue and clear, a little bit rocky and the car park is also very busy this morning but it is in a prime location. We're going to shoot off today because we've got some great plans. We're going to be taking the coastal road from Amazra to Sinop. That's all going to be on next week's video. But before we go, we're going to go and grab some breakfast. So we're going to show you what that's like. Now, this is the car park we stayed at last night. 
It was nowhere near as busy as this last night. We actually had a really good night's sleep. Absolutely rammed today though. A lot of coaches, a lot of minibuses, quite a lot of campers. There was a few people in tents last night as well. And then there's Kev. Laura's just having a sort out before we go to breakfast. It's a lot busier today than it was yesterday. I think a lot of people come on tours because there's a lot of coaches in the car park. We missed this yesterday. We walked straight past it. I don't know how, but this is the Mazra Museum. I've seen about this online. We're not going to go in because we haven't got a lot of time today, but we're going to have a quick walk around outside. And um, there's a lot out here to show you. So we'll show you this and then go and get something to eat. Feeling in my bones. I can feel it in my veins. I can feel the winds of change You live and you learn And I hope I've seen enough To make something right And make up for what I've lost I was down but things are looking up I wanna get high this little place it's nice and busy so it looks like it's going to be some good food we're starting to realize what we kind of like and what we don't like um, within the Turkish breakfast now but luckily this breakfast is um, the Turkish village breakfast so I imagine it's going to be a big big one again but we've asked for sujuk we think it's called which is the fried eggs um, and uh, like salami kind of ham in it because um, we really like that. Some bread, we've got some eggs, we've got some chips, a couple of different cheeses, this um, seasoning pasty type stuff that Richie likes with his um, egg and bread. Um, got some chilies this time and some tomatoes and cucumber and some different jams and honeys over there. I'm looking forward to digging in. Look at the colour of these olives as well. Never seen red ones before. Not that I'm an olive fan, but I'm going to try one. <laughs> Be honest, as far as olives go, it's the best one I've tried. <laughs> I, will still, I still wouldn't choose them, but it's not bad. Well, that was another lovely breakfast. I am so full, it's unbelievable. Literally stuffed, <laughs> and there's still loads left. I can't go over this Turkish breakfast, and I always feel rude leaving it, but it's so, so good and so cheap. All of that, plus a Coke each for about uh, 260 lira, so 12 or 13 pound. It's ridiculous. Isn't it? Literally can't <laughs> go wrong. It's cheaper to eat out, and it was really good. But a Masra is a really nice scenic place to come, so if anyone's coming to Turkey, it's really worth a visit. So that's it for Amazra. We hope you enjoyed it as much as we have and we'd definitely recommend checking this place out. I don't think it's overly popular with English tourists, but it definitely should be. Until next week where we take the coastal road along to Sinop. Meant to be one of the best coastal roads in the world, or one of them. If you haven't already, please make sure you like and subscribe.